everybody. Welcome to the mini beginner's crash course to Elasticsearch and Kibana. My name is Lisa Jung and I'm a developer advocate at Elastic. So this is a series of short videos for developers who want to get started with Elasticsearch and Kibana. In the previous episode, we talked about the use cases of the Elastic Stack. As you know, the Elastic Stack consists of Elasticsearch, Kibana, and integrations. In today's episode, we'll talk about the scenarios where you may consider using Elasticsearch and Kibana. So Elasticsearch is known as the heart of the Elastic Stack. This is where you store, search, and analyze your data. So let's go over a scenario where Elasticsearch may come in handy. Imagine you're the lead developer responsible for building and maintaining an online grocery shop. Using the search bar, millions of customers will be searching for products that they want to buy. And a great search experience is key to have your customers to buy and keep coming back to your platform. And we want the customers to get fast and relevant results no matter the scale. Another important factor in search experience is relevancy. So the whole point of search is finding relevant data fast. We want to be able to fine tune our search experience to get the information we want. And we also want most relevant results at the top and the least relevant at the bottom. For example, let's say a customer is searching for peanut butter and there are a ton of different brands. But what if a customer wanted to see peanut butter from highest to lowest rated brands? Or what if the customer is searching for sriracha hot sauce and misspells it? We still want to pull up relevant results, even though the customer spelling doesn't exactly match the product data. So if you're in a situation where the speed and relevance of your search is an important aspect of your work, Elasticsearch could come in really handy. So how does it look when Elasticsearch is connected to your app? Well, when a user sends a search request from your website, the request is sent to the server, which sends a search request to Elasticsearch. Then Elasticsearch finds and sends the results back to the server, which processes the info and sends the results back to the browser. So let's go even one step further. Through your app, you're collecting a lot of data, such as order information, purchase history, and the list goes on and on. And we want to make use of that data. For example, we want to know what was the revenue for the last month or which products are most popular. To answer these questions, you can enter relevant data in Elasticsearch so you could search and analyze your data to answer your questions. But data is so much easier to understand if you could visualize it. And this is where Kibana comes in, which helps you to visualize and manage your data. So think of Kibana as a web interface to the data stored in Elasticsearch. It allows you to search, view, and interact with your Elasticsearch data. So if you had a question about, you know, what is the most popular product? Or what was our revenue last month? You would enter relevant data in Elasticsearch, then from Kibana, send requests to Elasticsearch to get and analyze the data you want. On top of that, you'll be able to create a dashboard with Kibana so you could visualize data in a variety of charts, tables, and maps. This way, you can gain insights more easily and be able to share that with your stakeholders. So if you're in a situation where you need to analyze and visualize data inside Elasticsearch, Kibana will come in really handy. Okay, so that's a wrap. We just covered scenarios where Elasticsearch and Kibana may come in handy. And the content we just covered is an excerpt from the Beginner's Crash Course to Elastic Stack Part 1. So Part 1 is a full-length workshop where I cover the use cases of the Elastic Stack, talk about nodes, clusters, and charts, and how to set up and run Elasticsearch and Kibana to perform CRUD operations. So if you prefer the full-length workshop format, check out the link shown on the screen, and the link is also included in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elasticsearch and Kibana.